Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about one more problem from Lead Code. The problem name is Happy Number. So this problem is from the top interview problems from Lead Code I've been working on. So the playlist link will be in the description of this video. So go check it out. Okay. So problem statements goes like this: that you have to write an algorithm to determine whether a number n is happy or not. A happy number is defined by the following process: starting with any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the square of its digit. So you have a number. You have to replace that number by the sum of the square of its digits. The digits that number consists of, and repeat the process until the number becomes equal to one. If the number, like if the uh, number becomes equal to one, then the answer is that it is a happy number. Or else, the like it can go in an, an endless loop that it will not become one, so that it will like comes down to the same number again, so that it will become down to an endless loop. Now, how you can check this out? That's your problem. Now there are multiple ways to do this problem out. What you can do here is that you start with any number, like whatever number you have, and you push that particular number in some sort of a map or set. Okay, which means that before processing any new number, you can check that whether you have seen this number already. So if the if you have seen this number already, which means that you have gone through a particular direction and has come down to the same number again. So it's some sort of a loop. So you will not like you will not uh, land down to one. Like like a uh, one number eventually, so that is like a uh, not happy number. Uh, that is one one of the ways you can do. But I have not a particular explanation. Ki whether this will comes down to a cycle. Like uh, like it will like it it has said that it will if it goes in an endless cycle that it is fine. But do not know the cycle length. By cycle length it means that maybe the cycle length is very large. Like it goes from this number, this number, this number. Like ev like it goes to a very large cycle and then comes back to this number. It can also happen that, but on a safe note, you can also like do this type of thing. That is also like very efficient. Or the other thing you can have done here is, which I have done here is that you can take a arbitrary very large number up to which you can do the processing. By processing, I mean that you can do like this side, this type of simple simple calculation. So I have taken like twenty thousand times. So I have taken n and I'll do a for loop. Either my number I am on will hit one. Like while doing this process, so I have this convert function which will take the particular number I will send inside this, and it will take every digit out of it, square it, and add it, and that this function is doing. Now what I am doing in this happy number function is I am doing a while loop. There are two conditions: either I will hit a one by doing this particular convert function and again, again, and again, and again, and I will hit one, or I will do this operation, let's say twenty thousand times for every number. If the number doesn't boils down to one. Under twenty thousand times, then the answer is false because I have done too much calculation. Then I do not have much time to check out any further, so I will declare it false. Okay, so you will have declared false, or else if it boils down to one, then the answer is obviously true because you have found out one. That's what I have done. You could have also done using the cycle method in which you you can push out numbers in a set or a map, and you will keep on iterating and doing this process until you hit the same number again. If you hit the same number again, then obviously it is a cycle, or else. Uh, if it's not a cycle, you will eventually hit one. So that's the whole logic here. So I have done using this operation in which I have this is an iteration type of variable which keep on track of how many times I have done this convert function. So if either if n is not equal to one or my iteration is less than twenty thousand, I will keep on doing this while loop. I will convert n like I will send n in this convert function and whatever is written I will store here because I have to take the same number convert it by doing such that I will add the square of every digits. This will return this number. If n becomes one after doing this operation, I will mark my OK equal to one and just break out of this for loop. And also, it increase my iteration by one, which means that I have done one iteration. So this will keep on doing the iterations, or else if this is this condition will not hit, this OK will not be like hit, and this will keep on doing the iteration until you know it twenty thousand times. So whatever is marked, it will like whenever like this for loop breaks out. If OK is one, which means that I have somehow make my n equal to one, then answer is true, else answer is false. So that's the whole logic. And code part for this problem. I have told you one more way, so you can try out that particular part as well. So thank you for watching this video till the end. I will see you next one. Till keep coding and bye.